All right, y'all, my son is going to take his test. It's been a long road, but he's here. Y'all, I am sitting under the tree at the DMV while my daughter, my oldest daughter, is in the car with my son. That's something new out here in Georgia. Well, I don't know if it's new in Georgia, but I'm from California. And you didn't have to ride in the car with the person, um, a 21-year-old licensed driver, have to ride with the instructor. I never knew all that. We didn't have to do it with my other daughter who got her license out here when we moved here. But for this one, we definitely do. So she's in the car with him. And I'm sitting out here enjoying the weather, waiting on him to finish. And we're gonna see if he gets his license today. Just praying, praying, praying. That parallel parking is off the hook though. Okay, y'all, so y'all not gonna believe this. I had a, um, I decided to look at my bank account while I'm sitting here. When I have spare time, I try to be, you know, instead of me just sitting here enjoying the birds chirping and all of that, I decided to open my bank account. It was overdrawn by $8.83. I ordered pizza the other night. It came to $20.21. I transferred 21, I mean, it came $20.21. I transferred $21 into the account. So it left me with some change, right? I use this account only to order online and things of that nature. So I did not put a, more money in for a reason because I don't want people taking extra money out of my account. Well, guess what? The delivery driver decided to tip himself $10 when I had already given him a tip. Guess what? I contacted the store. The person in the store was kind of like, saying well it would they it would have to take magic for someone to um manually enter a tip um it says that you gave a ten dollar tip online no sir i didn't i know how i'm very smart i have seven children you're not gonna play me out of a nickel so anyway he called the his store manager store manager called me back and guess what the store manager said the other night wednesday night when i ordered the pizza he said they called him at home and they were saying they could not get a, the $10 tip to go through. It kept declining. Well, guess what, buddy? It was declining because there's no money there for you to steal. That's why it didn't go through. So at any rate, the manager said, I found that to be very, very, he said he'd been doing this for 10 years. And he had this happen when he worked at a different Pizza Hut where the driver was manually tipping himself every night. And he was wondering how this man keeps getting, and he said the biggest suspicion that raised his eyebrows is that my order was $20 and he said a $10 tip on a credit card for a $20 order just didn't sit right with him. Okay, because all I ordered was one pizza and then it comes with the delivery fee, all of that. So he said it didn't sit right with him. And now I just put the pieces to the puzzle, something he had already been trying to figure out on his own. He just didn't want to step over boundaries and say anything beforehand. So as soon as he gets in the store today, he'll be giving me a call back because I told him I will be reporting it. Y'all not gonna be stealing my money. One thing about it, two things for sure, I have seven children. And you just not fit to be on there acting like you could just take people money, plus they gave you cash. All right. Okay, you guys, I'm keeping the faith. Not one person has passed their driving test today. My son is still waiting. Um, so many, to a girl and a boy crying. Another boy handled it okay, but he said, you know, it's real disheartening that he didn't get it. One boy didn't get it because he said the lady, he thinks she was upset about the car. He was driving in a Tesla and she said, you need to rent a car and drive a more normal car. And I think that was discrimination on so many levels. And he said he's been trying at this location for, he's eight, he's 21 now. He's been trying since he was 18 but his brother went to Marietta, but they're always slammed. And everyone who goes to this one in Marietta always passes theirs. But over here in the area that we're in, he's like, and I promise you, every person has gone and come back without their license. The police officer of the other gentleman I just finished talking to, he's 18, his son is 18. And this is his second try at this location. And the officer said he just honestly believes they have a quota that they want to meet for turning people down on their license because his son drives fine, which I don't doubt because my son drives fine also. 
And so I'm keeping my prayers up, you know, we're not going to base it off what everybody else didn't get. We're just going to be prayerful. But it is good to know one girl is crying so bad. I told her it's going to be okay. You're going to get it next time. But she might need to change her location too. She's on try three. I forgot to add the girl that's crying went through a red light. I know that's not good, but whoa. Yep, she went through a red light. She didn't see it. fight up here too while I was teaching him how to parallel park yesterday but it's fine you you get through those you go through things but you get through them the end result is my son got his license and I was sitting under the tree cooling while he was gone doing his test we thought my daughter had to sit in the car with him because that's the notice they sent but no I think when they only 18 but yeah or under 18 Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm going to go ahead and um, end off this vlog right here. And yeah, tune in to see what kind of car Trey gets. Love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.